So we are required by our clients to do the assembly of this bearing block. So if you remember properly, prior to this, we were required to do in our last video the cover of our bearing block. So first we need to know that for this assembly, we're going to need four, actually two bushing, four pins. The bushing are in bronze, the pins are in steel, one cover which is in cast iron, and the base block which is in cast iron as well. So without wasting any time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on new V. I go English standard since the dimensions are in inches, standards, inches, I go create. And in here, remember, whenever you need to do the assembly, make sure that all the parts that are going to be used are in one file. So I need that and I need that. And then I say open. Here I have the ports. I press them there and then I say escape. Again, since I need four pins and two bushes, I come there again. So I select pin and bushing. I say open. So I come the sides. I left click, second, third, then I go escape. So I have three extra pins and the three extra bushing so I can delete this one and this one since I only need two. So here the first thing that I'm going to do is to ground is to ground my base. So I come here and then say ground it. So I ground my base, my base is grounded. So now here what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna come here and I choose the constraint. In here, first I need to make sure I go the on mate. I need to make sure that the head of my bush is made with the side of my base. That is done. I see apply. Now I'll need to make sure that the axis of my bushing is made with the axis of my base. That's apply. I come here again. I need to make sure again that. Come on, let me just do this. I need to make sure now that again that the height of my second bushing is made with the side of my base. I say apply here. Once I say apply, I now need to make sure that the axis of my bushing, my second bushing, is made with the axis of my base. Apply. So once this is done, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna come here and make sure now that the axis of my cover is made with the axis of my base. Then this apply. What I can do now, you can see what's happening. So I can just pull my base up. Okay. Once I pull my base up, now I need to make sure here that the axis of my cover is made with the axis of my base. I say apply. Now I need to make sure that this is make this makes one body. So I need to make sure that that's one V is made with that. Then that is done. Sorry, that is done. Then I say apply. So we are getting to the conclusion of our drawing. So here again, need to make sure about this. So now the height of my pin need to be made with the top of my cover apply. And then again, the axis of my pin need to be made with the axis of my assembly apply. I come here. I do the same V. Come on, that is a mistake. So I do the same V. That's one. Needs now to be made with the top of my cover. Apply. So just as simple as that. That is what is required. Is required in this tutorial. Okay. My friend student. So that is what is required in this tutorial. So you don't have to do much. So that's apply. I come here. That need to be made 
if the top of my cover apply again the axis need to be maintained for the axis of my assembly apply I come there again the head need to be the bottom of the head the bottom of the head need to be made with the top of my cover apply and then this is the last move come on that need to be made with that apply so there's nothing difficult here there's nothing difficult here so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you i hope that you guys enjoyed that and especially the student that needed this to be done for them and as for those that are interested in seeing what you can do or how you can do this so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this with you then for now i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself and i'm looking forward to see you on the next video so for now i'm gonna say bye